Hey guys, I'm Joe. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use EQ effectively and what it is for. Logic has a relatively good built in channel EQ, and to open that up, the easiest thing to do is go over here to your channel strip and double click on where it says EQ, and it will open up the channel EQ. It has a high and low pass filter, which over here on the far left and right, a high and low shelf, and four standard parametric filters. These can all increase or decrease certain frequency volumes in different ways. The high pass filter cuts out low frequencies, which is here. And that means all the high frequencies can pass through and vice versa for the low pass filter, which is over here. The high shelf EQ will increase or decrease the output of frequencies above whatever frequency you select. And the low shelf will increase or decrease the output of the frequencies below whatever you, frequency you select. The parametric bands are more versatile in that you can select a point in the frequency spectrum and increase or decrease the output of those frequencies more specifically. Each part has three different sections which are along the bottom here, which also correlate with what uh, part is selected along the top. Uh, you have the top part here, which is the frequency, the middle part, which is the gain, and the bottom part, which is the bandwidth. The frequency and gain are pretty self-explanatory, as the frequency will change for part of the spectrum you want to change, and the gain will determine how much or how little you want to, uh, you want the change to be. The bandwidth changes the amount of frequencies that will be changed, so you can make them very slim to change one specific point, or you can make them wider to change a, right, a range of frequencies. Alongside these you have the master gain control which is along here to in overall increase or decrease everything. The analyzer button down here and the compare button up here to swap between settings. Uh, I've already loaded in a short piano session uh, and I can play that and quickly show you how the analyzer works. So I'll switch the analyzer on by clicking it here and I'll quickly play the piano. So as you can see, the lower chords along here, the longer and lower ones are in the bass frequencies over here, and the melody is coming up in the mid to high frequencies above here. Now I'll just use some high and low pass filters to show you how they sound. I'll quickly turn them on and change the uh, gain to 48, so it's an extreme change in them. So I'll play a section and drag this along. So as you can hear, the further to the right I drag it, the more the chords are fading out and eventually the melody. And I'll do the same with the low pass filter along here. So it's essentially the same thing in that the melody fades out and then you're just left with the chords. Now the shelving EQs are similar but slightly different. Shelving can give an overall boost to frequencies whereas high and low pass filters can't. Uh, shelving EQ is good for giving a balance and equal boost to the high or low end frequencies. So, uh, as you can see, I'll drag it up, I'll turn that filter off for a second. Uh, I'll increase the gain and select the frequency, and every frequency below that is increased. And it's exactly the same for the high shelf. Now, the four parametric uh, EQs along here are used for precise increases and decreases in frequency uses. So if you wanted to boost the melody, I can apply a boost here around the 1k area. And I'll play that and I'll increase and decrease it to show you how that sounds. So as you can hear, as I'm increasing the frequencies up there, then the melody stands out a bit more and when I'm ducking them down, then it's reduced. There are two different ways of applying EQ. There is creative and corrective. Creative is applying boost to frequencies to bring out specific sounds, and creative is reducing the output of certain frequencies to make them sound better. EQ is an essential part of mixing and helps a great deal in creating the sounds you want. I hope this video has been useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or write to me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.